Hello everyone, this is Andy again from Andy Learn and Share. So, welcome to my channel. If you like this video, then please share this video and also subscribe my channel so that whenever I upload a new videos in future, you will get a notification in your YouTube. So, the, main, the topic of this video is RPA tool selection. You know, if you are the process owner or if you are a part of any RPA team, then if you are in a confusion, you know, which tool to select or which tool to select for my particular process or, you know, what is the way so that I can choose as, you know, there are so many RPA tools in the market. So how do I know that, you know, which particular tools I have to select for my particular process? So I'll explain you a brief in this video and if you hopefully you like this video on this and you know by the end of the by the end of this video you will be clear then you know what are the advantages or disadvantages or not uh, advantages and disadvantages but i can say that you know by the end of this video you'll you'll become you'll be in a place that you can decide you know for your particular project which tool to use so let's get started so you know there are so many tools, automation tools in the market. Uh, here are the top 10 RP tools available in the current market. Uh, the, they are like Automation Anywhere, UiPath, Blue Prism, Chiron, Pega, Cofix, Warpfusion, Contexter, Nice, Softmotive. We have AdWords, we have any, uh, you know, so many RP tools in the market currently. But here I have taken this top 10 RP tools from Google. So you know what are the checklist of the parameters to select the RPA tool. So it is very important for you to understand these factors or these parameters or this checklist. So f f before you know choosing uh, the RPA tools, you should understand the type of the applications that it is currently involved in your particular project. You will have to understand the tar target and the underlying applications of the processes to be automated. And the second is ease of deployment. You know how easily the RPA tools interact with their type of application at the presentation layer and also the how easily you can deploy the bot at the different environments. So it is very important for you to understand the ease of deployment. The third one is control and monitoring. Now you'll have to know what are the real-time control, what are the advanced schedules and APIs alerts and except exceptions real-time status monitoring and tracking the logs so you'll have to see you know which tools which rp tools can you provide best of this you know so that you can implement or you can use that particular tool in your process the next one is scalability scalability so you will have to understand how quickly and easily the solution respond to the business requirement changes exceptions or the increasing or increasing operations let's say this year you have let's say 250 transactions per month but you are expecting that after two or three months you know that the amount of that particular uh, transaction will increase two four two fold three folds or so on so you should understand you know which particular rp tool help you uh, on this the last one is like resource and pricing model so you'll have to understand you know if you are choosing any tools for your particular to uh, particular projects then you should have the enough resource the trained resource to work upon that tool or you can also you'll have to hire that particular uh, you know trained or uh, you know experienced resource from the market and so also you should know the pricing model you know what is the cost of the license what you know how how much uh, they will charge per license and uh, you know in a how in one license how many bots the the particular rpa vendors uh, tools vendors are given so it's it's very important you will have to know all this pricing model and also the resource so uh, you know these are the three main rpa tools currently in the market that is automation anywhere uipath and blue prism so here i have categorized you know based on the different features or supports so you know which is the best to fit let's say you know in, in the example i have given like uh, let's say dev environment you know the the development environment uh, all these three tools will support uh, <coughs> the windows and 
you know the production in environment it can be server or desktop or virtual machine uh, in terms of automation anywhere and <coughs> it can be server desktop via uh, virtual machines or cloud in terms of ui path <coughs> or servers or virtual machine in terms of blue prism so likewise you can see you know ui path uh, it easily supports a ie uh, chrome firefox whereas blue prism and automation although they support easily but it is always in terms of blue prism it is always advisable to use internet explorer and also in the automation anywhere so these are the you know features you can see you can go through it and you can understand you know how to difference based on the features uh, between these three tools because these are the current you know top uh, tools that uh, uh, is in the current market you can see citrix and vdi you know all these three tools they can easily support if you are automation is citrix based and in terms of data or security or data controlled automation <coughs> anywhere is highly secured ui path is secured and blue prism is highly secured that means if you are on a banking domain so you are going through this you can you know differentiate which particular particular tool you have to use and at the last you can see uh, you know natural language processing and machine learning so automation anywhere it has iq boards ui path it has nlp yes machine learning yes and blue prism also it has both yes so you can uh, if if you feel that you know your process in a, in a like has uh, some nlp or machine learning then based on this you can choose you can decide which particular uh, tool to choose in terms of credential stores you can see automation anywhere yes ui path will store uh, you know orchestrator uses application level encryption in in terms of ui path so you know focus area you can see uh, in terms of automation anywhere it, it, you know the main focus service area focus is like bpm back office front office and agent assist in ui path also you can see the same whereas in blue prism you can see this is back office so the process management model uh, for uh, automation anywhere is via control room whereas in ui path it is via orchestrator or dashboard and for blue prism it is via control room and version control if you see for uh, automation anywhere it is like sbn or git you know these are the store uh, or version control control system or store you can store your particular you know code in sbn or git and for ui path it is sbn and tfs again and blue prism it provides its own version control and you know <coughs> rely on third party or open source you can see uh, you know especially uh, this is for the uh, what do you say you can use uh, google t t tesseract uh, you know uh, if you want to go for ocr for automation anywhere for ui path you have ava and you know for blue prism even google tesseract so these are some of the features although this uh, you know i have taken uh, from the various source and based on my experience uh, but you can always you know validate with your other people you know in terms of if you are feeling that you know you are going to use, use that particular uh, tools for your particular project so these are the sample bot for automation anywhere ui path and blue prism i have experience in all these three uh, areas or three tools i have already I, I have worked as a developer and also the <coughs> you know uh, uh, solution architect uh, for some of these tools so you can see uh, the you know studio for ui path and automation anywhere and also the blue prism so thank you for uh, you know watching this video as i told in my previous video then we also provide trainings on rpa and also our, we support rpa related projects so if you have any queries you can contact me and you can email me and also you can uh, you know uh, explain or you can you, you can also write your comment below this video thank you for watching this video have a nice day